okay in this video we will talk about the fill summary command in splunk okay so this is a very simple command where it what it basically do is like it calculates the statistics for a particular field okay and then display in a in a tabular format now now if i if i just show you over here so we will we will work on this this tmdb underscore index only okay so it, it can be applied to any any kind of indexed data so if i just show you over here if i just write this command index equals to tmdb underscore index okay i will search it for all time now if I just wanted to, if if you see these these are the fields it's it has extracted over here, right? So if I just wanted to know the basic statistical information about these fields, like how many distinct values are there, okay, and their standard deviation and other stuff, okay. So you can always use field summary command for that purpose. Now this field summary command can be used in lot of purposes. Like mainly it is, I think, I believe it is it is used to when you basically do some kind of analysis on the index data over there or or it could be used in in various other scenarios as well okay so so command wise it is it's a very simplistic command which basically takes uh, two arguments one is the max val which is optional another is the fill list over here and this fill list it supports the wildcard as well okay so if i just write filled summary over here okay without any particular input so it's basically give you the information for all the fields for that particular index or whatever query it has previously okay the data part so if you see in my tmdb index i have a lot of fields like this like that's backed up path and then event type the general ids the host the movie ids those stuff right so if you see it it gives you the information in this this particular tabular format right so where if you see it like it created this this many fields but the count field is basically that how many events are having this particular field over there okay so i have i think total 393 records only 303 events only for all time okay so if you see here here also it is it is showing up over there that means all the events are having this this particular fields over here okay so so now the second the second column it gives you called the distinct count okay so that means as as the name suggests it will basically tell you how many distinct values are there over here okay now here one catch is there there, there is a there is a input called max vals okay now the default value of max val is 100 that means Planck by default will if you, if you see the description of this particular field over here particular input over here it's saying specifies the maximum distinct values to return for each field okay so that means if your distinct value is getting exceeded 100 okay so in that case what it will do in the in this values field if you see it over here in the in the values field it basically shows up the distinct field values and their and their count over here okay so in the values field it will retain maximum of 100 values over here okay and in that case this distinct count splunk will approximate it it will not give you the exact count over here okay so that's why the next field is important it is called the is exact if you see the for the first field adult it is giving is exact equals to one okay now because the distinct values are only one over here less than 100 now if you see for the backdrop path which is basically the movie path or the from where we can give the get the movie poster over here right so here the max the distinct counts are 249 which is not the exact count because it is exceeding the 100 values over here now if you want to get the full count over here so in that case you can play around with this max val input okay so max wells if i just give 400 around 400 over here okay so in this case now if you see it over here it is basically holding all these 400 distinct values over here in this field okay and is exact is becoming one now in this case okay so this is the this is the use case for the max val and the it relation with the distinct count and is exact and the values field over here okay now 
max as the name suggest for for numeric field it will it will give you the max value for that particular field so as i id is always a numeric value over here so that's why it is giving a max of that particular id similarly mean and and the this min mean is also apply for the numeric fields and it will give you the average value and the mean value over here okay so similar similar way for if you see for the general id is also as it is having only the numbers so it is giving you the max and other stuff over here okay and the numeric count is basically the number of numeric value present in that particular field okay so that's the numeric count of a particular field and again it's a it's a standard deviation so it's, it's calculated for the numeric field only now as i already told about these values so it will basically show you all the distinct values okay and their and their count over here in a json object like structure okay so this is the output generated by the field summary command okay now if you see i i did it for all the fields if you want to know for any particular field you can you can always give the field name over here popularity let's say i have a field called popularity over over here in my index so i if i just wanted to generate the statistics for this particular field only so then I, i'll just give the field name over here and i think this can be a this can be wild carded as well so if i if i just give popular star it will also fetch that particular field only not only that if you if your index has the matching field names with this particular regular expression it will basically pull all those field level details here as well okay so so hopefully this video is helpful because this is not a very complex command this is a very simplistic command which has very limited use cases over here okay see you in next video